Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make tamales using banana leaves. Recently I had a viewer send me a message saying she could not find corn husks, but she was able to find frozen banana leaves. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can make tamales using banana leaves. Now the type of tamal I'm making today is using chicken mole and I will link my mole sauce video in the description below if you want to make your own homemade scratch made sauce like I did here and I've posted several videos but you could also use store-bought they actually sell it prepared already so do what works for you so what I like to do is make a big batch of chicken mole the day before that's what we eat with rice and beans and whatever is left over from my mole sauce and my chicken is what I make or use for my tamales. So here I'm boiling around seven pounds of chicken. It's a combination of skinless drumsticks and skinless boneless chicken thighs. I'm adding onion, carrot, celery, garlic. I'm gonna add two dried bay leaves to this with around a tablespoon of salt. And I'm boiling this in around three and a half quarts of water. So you can bake the chicken, you can roast it, you can use a rotisserie chicken if that's all you have. Ultimately, for this recipe, you will need around a pound and a half to two pounds of cooked chicken. So whatever's left over from this chicken, I'm going to reserve it for my tamales. And I will reserve around two cups of broth just to use when I make the masa dough. Now I'm going to work on my banana leaves. So I'm using frozen banana leaves and I'm just going to remove them from the package. And when you remove them, it's a really long leaf it's a couple of them so what i like to do is cut them into the size that i'm going to use to wrap my tamales in typically it's around 10 to 11 inch in length and any pieces that are ripped or broken you want to discard so now i'm going to remove this tough fibrous rib piece from the leaves you want to remove that and once that's done you can discard those and the extra leaves that were broken or too small i'm going to keep those to top all of my tamales when i steam them so now i'm adding my banana leaves to a pot of boiling water and i'm going to let them soak and sort of steep in this hot water for about a minute you don't want to leave them in there too long but you do want to sort of clean and soften them this is why i'm doing this and there are other methods to soften the banana leaf you can put them over an open flame just to sort of soften them, but I find this easy because I want to clean them well. So now I'm going to remove the boiling water and the leaves from the pot. And once they're in my cleaned sink, by the way, I cleaned my sink really well, I'm going to add some cold water just to give them a good rinse to make sure I got any debris off of them. And now I'm just going to wipe them clean. And that package of frozen leaves will give me 20 to 22 leaves to wrap my tamales in. So that's kind of to give you an idea of what one package of leaves will give you. So now I'm going to use masa preparada for tamales that I purchased at the store. If you want to use maseca or the instant corn flour, I will link my other tamales videos below when I use those to prepare the masa. But today I saw a five pound bag, so actually I'm only using three pounds of this masa preparada. I'm breaking it up in my bowl and I am going to be adding around a cup and a half of lard. Now, if you want to use oil, you definitely can do that. I just don't have a lot of experience using oil. And I know I have seen comments where people have given me the tip of whipping the lard first, but you definitely can do that and it's probably a good idea to do that. But when I'm in a hurry, I add it to the bowl and I'm whipping the masa anyways. So now I'm going to add salt to taste, around two teaspoons. And now I'm going to start with one cup of that reserved broth from my boiled chicken. I'm actually going to be adding an extra quarter cup. So it's one and a quarter cup of broth that I used in this. Now I'm just going to mix and whip this with my hand for about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is what I end up with, a nice, fluffy, well-combined masa dough. So now I'm ready to put these tamales together. So here I have 
my five cups of reserved mole sauce that I made. Again, store-bought works or scratch made. Look to the description for those links. And I'm going to be using a pound and a half of cooked chicken. And I left it kind of chunky. I like large chunks for some reason when I make these tamales. And of course, I have my masa dough that I've already prepared. And I started with three pounds of masa preparada and added lard, broth, and salt. So here I have my cleaned banana leaf. I'm going to add several tablespoons of the masa right in the center. I'm going to add some chunks of chicken and several tablespoons of that mole sauce. And if you like things extra saucy, then add more. Now, another way you could do the filling is just to combine the chicken already in the mole sauce. That works too, but I sort of like the contrast of just adding the sauce on top of the chicken. But do what you will. So I'm just going to wrap these up, and actually I will explain how I wrap them. So you're gonna take two sides, you're going to lift it up and fold it twice, and it may crack or split a little bit, so be mindful of that, but it should be pliable enough to fold over just like this. I'm going to fold that in, and now I'm going to pinch the ends and fold that under. And that is it. If you wanna use those ribs, those tough ribs that you cut away from the banana leaves to tie and secure it, you can do that. But I find this an easy method. So I'm just going to continue and repeat the process until all of them are done. Okay, so I have 20 tamales ready to go to be cooked. So here I have a 16 quart steamer pot. I've added around two quarts of water at the bottom and I'm just going to stack these and make sure the side that you fold under is the side that goes down just to secure them so they don't open up when you steam them. So once I've stacked them in my pot, I'm gonna add the excess banana leaves that I had left over and a clean damp cloth and now I'm going to cover it, turn the heat on, and once I can hear my water boiling and things get steamy, I'm going to lower the heat to a medium heat and cook them for an hour to an hour and a half. And to test one right at an hour and 15 minutes, I want to see if it'll come out easily from the banana leaf. And once your tamal comes out just like this, you know your tamales are done. So this tamal is definitely ready and it smells great and I can tell that the dough is so tender and moist. So I'm going to remove the rest of my tamales and let them set for about 20 minutes before serving. That is, if you can help yourself. One thing my family likes to do when I make these types of tamales is to serve extra mole sauce on top. So if you can reserve some extra mole sauce, it tastes great with these. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.